Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Wednesday Night Pre-Flight. We're going to get right back into the action here shortly. This is match two of the evening, where we have last woman standing match between Sabrina Styles, Sabrina Danger Styles, and Cade Vermont. As we went to break... We saw Cade has just landed a bitch slap on Sabrina and Sabrina's face down and Cade's outside the ring. So let's get right back into it, ladies and gentlemen. Sabrina gets back up and hits right, goes right into that heel kick. She wasn't down for long. Sabrina drops the elbow on Cade's head. Cade slides out of the ring, and no, leave my god damn it! I've already fixed this table once! God damn it, Cade! Cade grabs Sabrina with a headlock and throws her, <laughs> attempts her, she, Sabrina clips the table, but she just gets a freaking scoop slam right to the table. Sabrina kicks Cade right in the midsection, punch to the right, two rights, three rights, four rights, Finally, Cade counters that after getting those wicked rights. Cade throws Sabrina to the ring. Cade drops the elbow, followed by a leg drop. Good God, beautiful combination there. Sabrina's face down in one, and Sabrina gets back up. Cade's parading around the outside of the ring. And Sabrina slides into the ring, kicks Cade in the midsection. Cade hits that running clothesline. Hits that flipping senton, but only that's a glancing blow off Sabrina. Cade goes to that wrist lock. Throws Sabrina back into the ring. Drops the elbow. Followed by another leg drop to the face. Cade's focused on that... Cade has focused on that head all match. Two. Sabrina gets back up on a count of two, and she says she wants more. Cade says fine, puts her in a headlock. Sabrina says countered, breaks the hold up, kicks the midsection, spins Cade around. Hits that wheelbarrow face buster. Beautifully executed. Cade's down for a change. The ref starts to count. Two, three. Cade's out of this? Granted, that wheelbarrow face buster is pretty lethal. Count of eight. Cade better get on it. Nine. No. Sabrina with the Will Borrow face buster ends Cade's violent effort to try and come back. Good God. That face buster looked lethal. God, Cade's still on the mat trying to figure out which way's up. That was very unexpected. And uh, I'm actually, no, that's not the wheelbarrow uh, face buster. That's actually Sabrina's uh, finisher, which is called the Demon Slayer, the Dragon Slayer. One way to kill a dragon, good god grief. Anywho. And let's see what's going on next up. So our cameras are heading to the back. Not sure what's going on. Oh, absolutely. Your match is next, uh, Razor Cuts. Sweet, and thank you again. No problem. You're always welcome to greet us with the spins presence anytime. I'll go get everything. All right. So as a razor go heads back to the ring, we're going into our guest fatal four way match. Uh, they specifically asked uh, razor specifically asked for this match, and it's gonna pin DJ Four X against Haji against DJ Adina and Razor himself. 
So this is going to be uh, kind of a uh, crowd pleaser. After the last man saying match, we just got, uh, they're coming down to have fun, I guess. But hey, I don't give a shit. Works fantastically. But while I got time, the qualifying matches will be randomly selected among all of our pre-flight talent, guests, and special guests. Like, uh, I've also, um, I am putting the spins into the qualifying matches as well. So, that should be interesting. And first one's out is Trav. Okay, DJ4X. And he's had a very interesting showing, DJ4X. 4X, the last match you had here on pre-flight, he literally got his ass beat in viciously by Haji and Razor Cooks. But somehow, he was able to fought, thwart their advances and come out on top, winning that brutal Triple Threat match last week. No, two weeks ago. So, maybe 4X is thinking that luck will show him grace twice now, so. But on the same token, you got the silent one, Adina, who is greeting us finally for making his debut on pre flight against his brothers in arms. And we I have created a contract where there is a stable of the seven daily spins. So they might be coming more TV prone to when they are free from their gigs of their actual real life jobs. Because majority of them, they're spinning, they're all spinning for very large crowds, thousands upon thousands of people. And just so they can just show up here and come in for a couple weeks. It's fantastic. It gives them a kind of a breather and gives them something else to do to soak in all those chain fans. And to actually, if they get pissed off at each other, they can sort out through their issues in the ring. So, always a good time to do that. So it's just cool to have the seven deadly spins in pre-flight greeting us with their presence. I know it's a rarity, but it's really nice to have them. Here comes Adina. And he is the the unknown of this. We've seen 4X's style, which is high flying and crowd popping, risk taking moves. Adina, we don't know what his style is. But we also have Haju, who, as we saw in our bonus contact match, and last time he's here, just physically beat the hell out of your opponents. By way of grappling, uh, using the barricades, hell. You probably just take a shoe on him and beat you to death with. He's the uh, ballroom brawler, we'll call him. Doesn't care, you'll fight with anything or anyone.
And that leaves us Razor Cuts, where, well, he's another high flyer. He's not as risky as 4X, but he has no problem going up top. So, this should just be an uh, interesting um, crowd pleaser, ladies and gentlemen. So, hopefully, you want to drink the top four and your soda. This should be a good one. I'm going to try and keep up with this match, but this is going to be fast and furious right from the get go. And uh, from my understanding, 4X has a new um, uh, signature and finisher to debut, if he gets around to it. It's very flashy, but it might pay off, so you just got to see how it works out, so. Anyhow, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is an extreme rules fail. Dean goes right after Haji and misses, but 4X hits the high knee drop. Cuts hits the um, Frankensteiner, and now it just kicks Galar, everybody. Razor picks up a Dean going with a high knee drop. DX throws, 4X throws Haji in the corner. Haji spins, spins it around and just drops a straight wicked right. Ties 4X up in the tree of woe. Beautiful swinging neck breaker there from uh, Adina on cuts. Adin grabs Haji with that wrist lock, goes for a single leg takedown into a shin breaker. Ah, that's just nasty. Forrest has got a four uh, headlock, but Razor counters. Goes behind, spins Razor around, 4X throws him into the corner. Adina hits the tilt the world backbreaker on Haji and 4X ignores him, but hits another high knee drop on D. 4X going for that cross arm breaker. Adin says no. Razor hits that high knee, and 4X hits a Frankensteiner on there. It's Frankensteiner's galore. Everybody's hitting him. Oh, Adina is just. Taking Razor's face and jamming it into the boards. They're right in there. 4X throws Haji in the corner. Picks Haji up. And what are we doing here? Beautiful head scissor take super head scissor takedown her Karana from 4X. Adina hits the high face buster and hits that wheel wind kick. Beautifully executed on Razor. Adin goes for that uh, headlock and then counters. 4X hits Haji with the Alcabon. Razor hits Adin in the midsection. 4X grabbing from behind. Throws Adin into the uh, corner. And Haji grabs a chair. Adina wakes up. And Haji throws a chair in the corner. That's not going to be nice. No. 4X, leave my table alone. Damn it. 4X goes behind Haji, throws Haji into the ring on the outside there. Razor hits the uh, Frankensteiner yet again. Adina goes for a wrist lock, throws uh, Razor back into the ring, drops an elbow on his face. Adina zooms back into the ring, fall with a couple rights. And uh, Razor goes for kicks to the things, high elbow. Trav's got a mop, and Adin throws Razor into the ring. Razor counters, throws Adin into the corner. Haji grabs a sledgehammer while 4 has got... God damn it, Zach! God damn it, Cuts! Leave my damn table alone! It's got feelings, too! It's already been broke once. Damn it, man! 
Forex hits Haji in the middle and hits another high, high knee breaker. Ha Dean goes behind on Razor, throws Razor right into the pole, bounces his head off him, throws in the ring. Forex is going open season on that sludge hammer on Haji. Haji finally rips it away from him. Picks up a drink, takes a sledge to the midsection. Adin's got a cane. Good God. And Razor hits Adin with the kendo stick. Forex hits the mop on Haji, hits it twice. Razor's just wearing that kendo out on Adin. Hits him again, knocking him unconscious. Jesus Christ. Hits a spinning leg drop. Haji gets thrown into the steps. That's not going to feel good in the morning. Razor tries grabbing the Dean into the announcing our table, throws him to a barricade instead, and 4X hits the arm breaker, the jumping arm breaker, and cuts his back with that damn kendo stick. Finally, a Dean elbows him in the face and hits that freaking roundhouse, well, that wheelhouse kick. Finally, hit that. Haji's down. Razor's been thrown in the barricade. 4X and Haji's running into each other. Haji hits that right. Beautiful dragon screw takedown over there by Haji on 4X. Hits a headbutt on uh, Adin. 4X grabs a belt, beats uh, Haji in it. Beautiful uh, Northern Light driver, the Fisherman driver, out of uh, Cuts. Travis taking a toy belt and just bashing freaking Haji's face in. And Haji says, no, my turn, and wears him out. Cuts is trying to get a Dean on the, my table. God damn it, Daryl. Motherfuck. Oh, what the hell is Cuts doing now? <laughs> oh, God, my table. Hits the flying elbow drop. All the way down. Adin ate all of that. Haji throws 4X into the ring. I'm not sure what Razor hit over there, but it check our cameras. A beautiful uh, small package pow, suplex. 4X hits the Herkarana. Pin cover. Here it is. One, two, three. 4X out of nowhere hits. The uh, her Karana pin cover and survives yet again. Jesus Christ! Damn, this match is fast and furious. God, that was a good match. And Dean, for his first time on here, showed he has resilience. And after taking that uh, elbow drop from the top rope, was able to get back up and survive, but walked right into that small package suplex. But at the end of the day, once again, 4X wins out of nowhere. Well, let's, uh, <laughs> wow, I I'm just flabbergasted about that match. That was fucking awesome. So... Anywho, um, our cameras are heading backstage now, and I believe uh, Justin Roberts is meeting us back there, and yes it is. Welcome, my guests are Mr. Slane and Mr. Avery. Thank you for joining me tonight. You face Brad and Don in a steel cage royal tag match. Your thoughts? We, uh, this ends tonight. This is not just another match. We need to eliminate this problem. We came to fight them instead we get jumped from behind them before our match. Pretty cowardly, if you ask me. Well, they got free samples last week. Tonight will be no different, except we end them. Yeah, but... But what? They got the best of you before. That was then. This is now. Now, balls in our court. We gotta go get ready. Thank you for your time. We sent it over to our colleague and with Brad and Don. Tony! 
So, strong words coming from Drake and Slane about their match tonight. So, I guess we're heading to our other correspondent, Tony Chimmel, with Brad and Don and with their response. Thank you, Justin. Now, Mr. Brad and Don, your response. How about you go fuck yourself? Big words from a team that when we first met them, we wiped the floor with both your carcasses and mopped up your fluids with what was left of you both. The second time after we jumped you both, you weren't and cried. To, you went to you and cried to your daddy how we treat you, and he changed the match for his baby boys. Wah, wah, go suck. We only lost that match because daddy didn't. Consult us on that match change. But, shut up, Chimmel. You suck and nobody likes you. Your voice makes my ears bleed. Back to business. Now, Drake and Slain, tonight you either put up, push up, or shut up. No more crying to your daddy. We have a tornado tag steel cage match. Fun time is over. Thank you, gentlemen. Now, back to stage. Cobble will take it from you. Fuck you, Tony. Go fuck yourself and die in a hole. You suck, you jackass. God, what an arrogant, pricky bastard. Oh, well, well, we're going to head back to ringside, but we got to go to break, ladies and gentlemen, so we will be right back. <laughs> 